I'm John Muir Laws, and I would like to invite you to become an ambassador for nature journaling and a mentor to other people who are just taking their first steps, even if you are just taking your first steps. And before you say, no, 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 wait a minute, I don't think I'm ready for that because I really am just starting this and I'm not a professional artist, I am not a professional naturalist, I, I'm just figuring out how to do this. Yeah, I want you to become an ambassador for nature journaling and a mentor to others to help them take their first steps. So before you, <clears throat> you, 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 you panic about this, let me, let me tell you a story of, of two mentors um, that made uh, a, a huge difference in my, uh, in, in, in my process and my ability to do what I do. And so my first two nature journaling mentors, and there have been many. My mom and dad were both naturalists, and we would regularly take romps and adventures in the woods. And on one of these, one of my mom's friends, um, a woman named Neela Watley, came along with us. That's nature journaling mentor number one. So Neela had a sketchbook. She had a journal. And as we walked through the woods looking at, at flowers and plants, she pulled out this spiral-bound brown paper sketchbook and sat down and started to draw the flowers that we're finding. And she made little notes about them and would go on to the next flower. And I saw this and I got it. I was, I was amazed by what I was seeing. And the whole trip, I was her shadow. She, she would go on, sit down next to a plant, and I would sit down next to her. So she would move on to another one. And my mom was watching this. And this kid who normally is just all over the place, up in the tree, down by the creek, like focus, like, just like that. The next time we went out on one of our family adventures, Neela wasn't there. Mom and dad were. And my mom said, hey, honey, come on, come on over here to the back of the car. I've got something here that you might like. And I came to, the, we looked in the, 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 in the trunk of the old Plymouth Valiant. And sitting there was a brown paper, spiral bound sketchbook exactly the same kind that Neela had. And a set of the pencils, they were the same kinds of pencils, they're exactly the same drawing tools. And she said, this is for you. And I knew exactly what to do. And that, that little bit of the example from Neela and the facilitation from my own mother, I was launched. And from that day on, I, I would bring that journal into the forest, into the woods, and I would draw the plant, and I would take notes. I'd watch Neela, and, and, and I knew just what to do. And that, that opened a door to me. Um, and what was interesting is that I also, I was using words and pictures um, together. And normally I was afraid of writing words on paper because I was afraid of the the red pen that would come from the corrections from my teachers. And I knew that wasn't, that wasn't what this journal was about. This was about making discoveries and finding things and looking more closely and celebrating whatever it was that you found. And I was all in. So those were my first two nature journaling mentors. And um, you, you can do the same thing. If, if you look around, <clears throat> It's not long before you're going to notice that there is, there, there may be a young person following in your shadow and watching what you're doing. And to explain what you're doing and give the invitation for them to try it as well. And explain that it's, it's not about the pretty pictures, it's about our discoveries. And that the more you do this, the better it gets. And this is how long I've been doing it. And look, I've been improving and getting better in this way. And these are the sort of things that I'm, I'm having fun with. And, and to, to offer this as something that they can do. 
So sometimes we're, we're afraid of, if somebody looks at my journal, I'm going to be judged. Right? But if they are able to look at your journal, people will see the, the authentic vehicle that that is for engaging with the world. And when they see that, they want in. And, and you can provide that. You don't have to have pretty pictures, a perfect journal or anything, because I don't think there is any such thing as a perfect journal. But look for those opportunities to help start the next person. If you are a parent, a grandparent, an uncle, a school teacher, anybody who has an opportunity to be uh, in regular contact with a child or another adult, you also can be a nature journaling enabler. And what you want to do is, is give somebody the resources and the permission and the opportunity to start. And so that could be just like my mom, noticing those supplies that Neela um, had, had used and getting the same kit for me. Once once somebody kind of sees what's going on, you give them those tools, you push them in the right direction, and, and they're going to know what to do. Uh, I found a couple of strategies are particularly effective in inspiring other people. When I'm giving feedback to a, a, another person on their journal, I'm noticing what they've noticed and engaging about those kinds of observations. The other strategy that I use is I, I look for a way that they are recording information, like, oh, this is interesting, the way you're using these icons and you've enlarged this area. And what I'm doing is I'm legitimate, legitimately actually looking for strategies that they're doing that I can incorporate into my own nature journaling practice. I'm looking for ideas to steal. And you can find this in the work of any other journaler. They're going to have some strategies and approaches that are different than what you do. And so when you see something that you can incorporate into your game, go like, ooh, I like that. Or even the way that you just wrote the date. That's neat. I, I want to try that myself. And that, that helps you, um, if you're kind of a nature journaler scavenger yourself, just reflect to show them the way that you are taking advantage of what, what they did. And that's, that's, that's really empowering. And it's authentic because you really are trying to learn in exactly that way. So you can be an ambassador to nature journal journalers. You can look for other people who might are wondering, like, what's going on over here? And share that with them. And you can give them a few pointers about how to get started. You can be a nature journaling mentor um, or enabler. And... And, and give somebody some resources that can help them continue to do this themselves. Or, as a mentor, you can establish a long-term relationship with somebody and help guide them through the process. If you have, again, the opportunity to be in a long-term relationship with a child or another adult who is interested in, do this, in doing this, um, having somebody who's had a little bit more experience makes a big difference. Or even if you've got similar levels of experience, having a nature journaling buddy, being on the buddy system, and you can each pull the other one along and the process develops much more quickly. We all could do this in whatever level of sort of a nature journaling um, experience we have. And it's going to make a big difference for somebody else. I don't think that there's a more significant, more powerful gift that you could possibly give. Recently, I've been spending a lot of time uh, going through my, my, mother's, my mother's house. She's died. And there are, there's, there's lots of books, lots of papers, lots of artifacts of family history. And as I was sorting through things, I came across I came across a file called uh, Keep for Jack. And sticking out of the end of it,
was this brown paper spiral bound notebook. And, you know, so many, so many pieces of our past get kind of lost along the way. But this is something that she saved. And there is the first page of that first journal. And she saw that um, in Nila's hands and knew it was significant. And she saw this among the child's possessions then and knew that it was still significant and set that aside. Um, that act of attention on her part um, in both those things, I'm really grateful. It really makes me feel seen and loved. Um, and and that's that's what sharing this this gift is. It's it's an act of love. Journaling itself is an expression of our love for the world. And if you can help somebody develop that relationship even more deeply by by helping them get started with their journaling, and that's love. So I want to encourage you to love one another, take care of each other, look for places where you can make a difference in somebody else's world, somebody else's life, and uh, perhaps this is one way you can do that. Thank you.